Drive Road has just updated, so let's check it out. Heading into the game, you can see that there's this new thing in the bottom left, which is a new UGC, which you can claim for doing this challenge. But what's hard about it is there's only 200 of these in the game, so you're going to have to be grinding a lot to get this because there's going to be a whole bunch of people trying to get this. And to claim this, you're going to have to get in the top 200. And what's good about this is everybody's using the exact same car, so it's going to be fair for everybody. So this race works like any other race. You'll just have to sit here until it resets and then you can do it again. There you go. There's my first try. It wasn't good because I missed a checkpoint, but as you can see, everybody spawns into the stock mixture. And if you go into the race with a normal mixture, you can actually get your own livery into it. And I guess once you finish the race, you could just keep the car and use it, but it won't be in your garage. So if you ever respawn, oh, and uh, I guess that how it works. I guess after a little bit, it'll switch you back. I don't really know. And if we head in the shop, you can see that this was changed up a bit so that there's more cars on the screen. So it's easier to navigate this. And you can see that the mixture's on sale for 40% off. And we have a new car, the Nimbus 936. And here are the customizations for it. And there isn't many new customizations on this car. And heading into the weekly quest, we have a new car, the Razor Extreme, and the Race Pal is back again. So if you didn't get this before, you can now get it again. And for the two Shadow Racers we have this week is Race Circuit and City Trail. So I'm going to do Race Circuit. This challenge is pretty easy. You don't have to really worry about this one. And the other one we have is City Trail. And there's the other one. It's also pretty easy. And for the sale on the mixture, I would say if you're a collector, it's definitely worth it to get it now because there's never going to be a sale like this again on the car. And if you're not, there's other cars that are pretty much the exact same for the price, like the Vanaheim. So it depends what you're trying to do, uh, but it, it's definitely worth it if you're thinking of getting it now instead of before when it was even more expensive than it is now. And now I'll show you the five parts in the USA map. Starting off with the first part, you'll want to head over to this food delivery spot right over here. And right up here, you'll see the first part. For the second part, head over to Drive World Customs right over here. And right in here, you'll see the second part. For the third part, head over to this transport trailer spot right here next to the dealership. And the third part is right up here. For the next part, head over to this trailer delivery spot right here. And right under the pier, you'll see the fourth part. And for the last part, head over to the exact same trailer delivery spot. And you'll want to go all the way up this building. And I failed it. And right as I get to the last part, they end up fixing the parts so you can easily find them. And the last one is right up here, as you can see. 
And now with that, let's grind the rest of these challenges so we can check out this new Razor Extreme. And there we go, we have completed all the weekly quests, so let's claim them and check out this new Razor Extreme. And here it is. And these are the customizations on it. And with that being said, let me know down in the comments what you think about this update, and I'll see you in the next video, and I'm also probably going to be live streaming over the next week because I'm going to be grinding the race. <laughs>